Right, okay, so I'm here in Madrid at Forest's place and we are about to get ready to go into the desert. What's happening today? You ready to get out of the office, mate? Just wanna go and like get lost in the desert. Let's do it. Okay. We're good. Woo. So we gotta be at the airport at 6.30. It's currently quarter past four. We're gonna be spending 15 minutes max at the office. Then we're gonna go to the Catalan city, get all the all of our uh, survival kits. And it's like the smallest the Catalan I've ever been in. Here we're gonna find what we need. This is our last chance to get stuff before the desert. Yeah. Towels, no? Yeah. 14 euros. Oh, sweet. Only one. We've only got one. Okay, we've got head, head torches. Oh, head torches. Amazing. We're gonna go in. Right. There we go, we're packed. That's the, ca the decathlon start with all the necessary extras sleeping bags, extra backpacks, protein bars, everything we need for the desert. It's currently 5 40 and we've just made it uh, to the airport. That's what I got Forest here for. You know what's funny is that. These are the kind of travels I used to do back in the days, and it's so good to time travel back to uh, how it's how it used to be, you know? Yeah. With uh, with Tom and like uh, with Sofiane and all that, and and yeah, I feel like all of our lives have changed for a while, and now you know it's kind of coming back together, isn't it? Well, the world has changed, but the world has changed. We here haven't. we still are. Here we still are, <laughs> heading into the unknown again. Here we go, business class it is, all oh. the way to Dakhla. All the way to Dakhla. Right, time for a change of scene, I think. Here it is, it's the man himself, the organizer of this epic event. <laughs> How are we looking? Good, good, good. <laughs> today, huh? Now that I've actually arrived here, it's feeling a bit more real. I see everybody coming together behind me in the event station here at Dakhla Spirit. All right, we're at the briefing. Let's find out what we're in for. The briefing really brings it home as to how tricky and difficult this downwinder and this challenge is going to be. I think the longest downwinder I've ever done before this is a couple of hundred kilometers and this is 500 kilometers through the remote Sahara Desert. Um, I mean it's one of the windiest places on the planet down here so hopefully wind's not going to be too much of an issue. We're going to be shredding some of the most remote kiteboarding waters in the world. I think the conditions are going to be pretty changeable. There's going to be flat water lagoons, massive sand dunes, waves, deserted villages, and we are going into the Sahara Desert. I mean, this is really bringing home now how much of an adventure this is going to be, and I think also how much of a physical challenge this is going to be. So straight from the Dominican Republic, to the desert here in Morocco and uh, yeah, starting to get a little bit nervous now about the realities of uh, this epic kiteboarding mission.
sand dune spot. It's got like a perfect flat water lagoon behind it here. And like a, I don't know, like a 60 foot jump from the top. You can see there, he's just going. Boom. Oh, there's the kite. Woo. So it's like such a fun spot to ride. You can jump off the dune, play around in the sand dunes, ride perfect flat water on the inside. And then there's a, yeah, just an epic open expanse of Sahara Desert around you. It's just a crazy uh, experience. Especially here with such a good crew. 30 guys on this uh, Dakota downwind. <laughs>